Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video of making your own small wind turbine out of a cordless drill. I got the idea from another YouTuber. Uh, I think his channel is called West Coast Doug. And I thought it was a great idea, so I thought I'd give it a go. I had this uh, cordless drill that a neighbor had given me. He wasn't using it. And I used it for a while until the battery ran out. I went to get a replacement battery and they didn't make this kind of model battery anymore. So I had this perfectly good drill, but a battery that didn't work. So what I did is I removed the uh, screws that were in here. They're like just a Phillips types of uh, screw. And I took it apart, took the leads that were on the trigger part and fed them through the side window. So you can see on the back here, it's a, a pulley hub. And what you would do is insert, insert a shaft into the, the arbor. And then you put the other part into your cordless drill and put it up in the wind and see what it does. on the drill. Huh. There we go. For some reason it was a little bit stuck there. And then I can spin around. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you can't take your leads and hook them directly to your battery. Because what will happen is it'll work like a normal drill. It'll spin this part around. So you have to use, it's called a reversing, or a, uh, actually it's called a blocking diode. I'll take a close-up of this later on, but it's a little jobby like this. You can buy them on eBay or any electronics store. And this particular one is a 6 amp. And you would have to put it on your positive lead, the red lead. And you put it on here and that would go to your battery. So what happens is, when you generate electricity, it only goes one way to your battery. Because you don't want the energy from your battery coming back and spinning the blades. So that's what you do. You would uh, put this on like this. And what we'll do later is I'll do a little test on the drill press and see just what kind of you know output we can get from this. Okay, that was a little freaky. I would say number one is more like the high setting. Uh, it really started going, but I, it's not too firmly on the, uh, how it's secured up in like that. It was really kind of bouncing around. So I'd say on uh, number one, it seems to be a little bit better setting for generating any voltage. Real 
Here's a close up of what the shaft looks like. Here's a bolt we just cut. Goes in, there's the little collar to reduce it down to I think at least a quarter inch shaft instead of a half inch. And then right here is where the Allen key. <laughs>